Hello guys, it's Lucas again and what I have for you today is uh, just an idea how to set it up and uh, forward the call from your uh, kit, one-to-one -one kit. Uh, so for example, you could have an office and you'd just like to forward the call in a case if there is nobody to answer the main indoor station and just forward the call to maybe a reception or the warehouse or any other place in the building that you might have the second indoor station. So let me show you that on the actual uh, config tool first. So in the config tool, we see here, we have two indoor stations. My indoor station number one uh, has a room number one, one zero, that's the main indoor station. And my second indoor station, in my case here now, it's a standalone um, indoor station with room number number two. Um, and there's a two hash zero, simple enough. So if you like to communicate with our door station and forward the calls between each other, uh, first of all, I need to make sure that my second indoor station, it's communicating with my uh, door station, with my SIP server. So again, I need to enter the IP address of my SIP server and the um, password for that SIP server, one, two, three, four, five, six in my case, login and username and password to that door station. Okay. In the network terminals as well, I need to make sure my VTO, which, my, which is my door station, it's connected as well. So I just need to enter the username and password and the IP address of my door station, which is this one here. All right, so once I have that all done, I save those settings. So now I have two devices, uh, two indoor stations. My first indoor station, it's the part of my kit. So when someone press the button at the door station, it will ring that indoor station first. But if so, for some reason um, I won't be able to answer it, that can be forwarded to my second indoor station. So now we need to actually log it in to our indoor station number one. Um, and also we need to log into our door station just to tell the door station that there's a second indoor station on our network um, and we go to the VTH management and we add a new indoor station so two hash zero and use and password to that indoor station that's it. So now we can check the status. My indoor station number one, it's up. And the same for the second indoor station standalone. All right, so now at my indoor station, I go to settings. In the settings, we're looking for forward. And like you see here, I just need to enter the room number two hash zero in the case if I'm busy, or if I, in the case if I won't answer the call the same, and just have them enabled. Just click OK, go back home. And now when I press the button, it will call my main indoor station. But for some reason, if I will be able to answer it, so I can just hang up. That will start calling my second indoor station, which it could be in the reception, in the warehouse or any other part of the building. But normally it's not supposed to call when the first indoor station would be um, selected. So simple as that. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, that is just an application you might use on some stage in the future. Take care. See you next time. Bye.